You think you know me? With Halloween Havoc 48 hours past us, you are looking at a sold out arena here at the WMO State Arena in Los Angeles. And season greetings WMO Universe, we want to be the first to welcome you here to WMO Friday Night Smackdown. And what a night it was. I mean, if you guys missed it, make sure to click the link up above so you guys don't miss any historic moments that were made that night. Uh oh And here comes the man that defeated the Fiend at Halloween Havoc to retain his WMO Universal Champion, The Undertaker. And what a match it was, ladies and gentlemen. Both men must still be feeling the effects of this brutal match. And as you guys can see, The Undertaker is not coming out here into the arena tonight on a motorcycle. That is because both men decided they wanted to kill each other at Halloween Havoc. And they used the motorcycle to run each other over. Well, ladies and gentlemen, WMO here sitting alongside the Hall of Famer JBL and Corey Graves. And speaking of Halloween Havoc WMO Universe, I want to take you back to the closing moments of what happened this past Sunday at Halloween Havoc during the WMO Universal title match. And now Bray Wyatt looking for minute. Sister Abigail, looking to put Undertaker away. Wyatt, oh, oh, my God, Hunter's out down! Ah, Out here, he's gonna try and wake up Hebron or something. The champion trying to figure out what to do here. That's more than a three count already. Did we just see what I thought we just saw? Wait a minute, what the hell? That's the rock. After Halloween, how the guest host, what the hell are you doing in there? Rock is in the corner. He's delivering a rock bottom to the feet. Well, he's gonna do something oh, good. That's great. That's great. I don't even think Undertaker realizes he's covering the fame. And I don't even think he's realized he's won the match. And Undertaker just in disbelief. I mean, the Fiend is down, he took a tombstone and a rock bottom! And even though The Undertaker technically won, I don't think he's too happy on how it all played out. I mean, Corey, would you want the Halloween having guest host to interfere with their title match? Or let alone cost you the chance to win the WMO Universal Champion? I don't think so. Uh oh, and speaking of interfering, the Undertaker couldn't even get a single word out yet. Well, I'm sure Bray Wyatt isn't too happy on how things ended at Halloween Havoc. What are you talking about, Corey? The Undertaker had the Fiend tombstone. He was going for the pin. It doesn't matter if The Rock was involved or not. He had the Fiend beat. One, two, three. Well, where is he? I don't know, guys, but maybe Bray Wyatt doesn't want to come out of the Firefly Funhouse tonight. He knows The Undertaker's not in a good mood. Bray Wyatt is still playing these mind games on The Undertaker. Well, JBL, maybe Bray Wyatt should stop focusing on these mind games and focus on trying to deflate The Undertaker's winning streak. And there he is, behind The Undertaker. Talk about creepy. I mean, where the hell did Bray Wyatt come from? Oh no, we're gonna listen to this freak talk. Fireflies! 
this? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I thought about it a lot. Matter of fact, I need to get back that Universal Championship. But I really wish that we'd gotten a chance to finish what we started. I really do. Because, I, you know, <laughs> our journey is just beginning. No, no, no. I don't want to spoil the fun, but please. I know that both of us were having the time of our lives last week. And, uh, you know, as things do, they get out of hand and, and one thing leads to another. And now look at us. And what I think happened, I think it was all just, you know, one giant misunderstanding. <laughs> Two things. First, I don't know if you realize it or not. You see, when you walk through here, through these ropes, you're in my yard. <laughs> and I can tell you this, you don't want to be here. Uh-oh. Bad things happen in my yard. Bad things have been happening here for a very long time. I think they call it a decade of destruction. Ten years of kicking butt. Hell, you ought to know that better than anybody else. Because while you were scratching and kicking and clawing your way to the top of the mountain, you see, I was burying people underneath that mountain, making it bigger all the time. Now that brings me to my second point. Yeah, you've come a long way in seven years. In fact, there may be a day where you even run the yard. But this ain't your day, boy. Boy! Woo. But I'm gonna let you in on something. I ain't the people's champion. I'm the dead man. <laughs> oh, boy. And if you try me, I'll make you famous. Because it's like this, little man. You ain't ever beat me. Uh oh. Is that, does that mean the other chick is challenging Bray Wyatt? Now, I don't like you. I don't respect you, and I sure as hell don't fear you. Those are some big words from The Undertaker. Biggie will not play it out here tonight. But seeing how you're standing in the middle of my yard, I will break you. Wait a minute! What the lot is cooked. Can it be? Is he here on Friday Night SmackDown? He is the Brahma Boys on Friday Night SmackDown. How about them apples? If you thought The Undertaker and Bray Wyatt were gonna be out here alone tonight, you are wrong. You are looking at the most electrifying man in WMO history. A man that just brings it! And the man that hosted Halloween Havoc last night! And The Rock making his way to the ring! You don't, you don't think you were going to talk about the champion without having The Rock in there? 
And ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are stopping to the channel for the very first time, I want to remind you guys to make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications on so you don't miss an electrified moment like this. Uh-oh. And WMO Friday Night Smackdown is about to make history because we got three of the biggest men in the ring at the same time. Wait a minute! Rock, 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 the Rock is rock bottom, The Undertaker! That's the WMO Universal Champion! That's the second rock bottom within the 48 hours! Uh oh! And now shifting his focus to Bray Wyatt! Bray Wyatt and The Rock! Staring at each other in the center of the ring! Lights are out! It's dark in the arena! Uh oh! It's The Fiend! The Fiend is here! And now The Rock is staring at The Fiend! He is staring at the devil! Straight to his face! Oh, and speaking of the devil, here comes the general manager of Friday Night SmackDown, Stephanie McMahon! Hopefully she can restore some order out here! But where is she? No, 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 no. We are not doing this tonight. I decide where and when we're going to do this. But seeing how desperately low you guys are willing to sink just to get a shot at the Undertaker's WMO Universal Champion, I will allow you guys to earn a title opportunity next week. Sorry, Bray Wyatt, but you already had your title opportunity and you lost. Now, Rock, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to face The Undertaker. Don't think I didn't notice you interfered during the main event at Halloween Havoc. Rock, you need to know your role, especially as a host. That is why I am giving you both the opportunity to earn a shot to face The Undertaker for the WMO Universal Champion. But... Not against each other, <laughs> no, that, that would be too easy. We all know who would be the winner of that. But rather, you two will compete in a beat the clock challenge next week. And the person to defeat their opponent in the least amount of time will go on to face The Undertaker at TLC for the WMO Universal Champion in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Good luck next week, gentlemen. What? Did we hear that right? Did we just hear the general manager of WMO Friday Night Smackdown announce a beat the clock challenge for next week? I think we just did. Who said Stephanie McMahon was not a fair manager, Corey? She gave both The Rock and The Fiend an equal chance to face the dead man at TLC. The question is, who is The Rock going to face? And more importantly, what other superstar would want to share the ring with The Fiend? It's going to be hard to find an opponent. I don't think anybody back there in the locker room is willing to step up and face these men. Both men are hell-bent on dethroning the dead man at TLC and becoming the new WMO Universal Champion. Shh! I just received word on who the opponents are going to be for next week's Beat the Clock Challenge. And it looks like The Rock is going to start off the Beat the Clock Challenge. And if you ask me, he's going to have to set a low time if he wants to make it a TLC. And I just hope Biggie doesn't end up as flat as those pancakes. But speaking of time, The Fiend might be in trouble because he is going up against the biggest man we have in WMO, The Great Khali, who stands at 7 feet tall. Which of these men are going to make it a TLC? We will see you guys next week for the first episode of Beat the Clock Challenge. Good night, everyone.